working with two date functions. Uh, first of all, the workday function and then the net workday function. Both of these functions are useful if you want to work with dates but only need to consider working days. So you may want to find out the number of working days between two dates or you may need to uh, add the number of working days to a start date to calculate the finish date. So that's actually what we're going to do first of all using the workday function. So we've got our project start date here, 21st of June 2013. We've estimated that there are 150 work days on our project. We want to know when our finish date is. Now, initially, we're going to assume that our work days are Monday to Friday. In other words, we don't work Saturday and Sunday. If that's not the case for you, maybe you work Monday to Saturday, or you have a completely different kind of weekend configuration. Um, there is a function for you that will work for that, but we'll look at that later on. So anyway, I'm going to start off um, just by typing in uh, the workday function. There we are. And you can see that it has three arguments. It has a start date argument, a days argument, so the number of work days, and it has a holidays argument. Now, holidays is optional. But you can see over here that I've actually listed all the bank holidays and shutdown time I have. Uh, for my organization in this list over here. So if we want to include holidays, you're going to need to do that somewhere in your workbook. Uh, these labels here don't form part of the calculation, but they're useful for me. So I can see that I've listed all the correct dates. So anyway, back to my workday function. First of all, I need to specify a start date, which in my example is in B2, comma, uh, the number of working days of my project, which is 150 comma my holidays and the holidays are expressed as a range as you can see there e2 to e17 uh, if I press enter um, I actually get a number as an answer now if you know anything about working with dates you will realize that dates are in fact numbers in Excel this is the serial number behind the date um, that's going to give me my answer so I just need to format this cell so the answer shows as a short date and I should get my answer. So it looks like um, 150 working days from the 21st of June 2013 is the 23rd of the 1st 2014. Just to prove that it is actually um, considering these holidays, if I was to delete one of these dates here, say that date here, you can see um, that we actually finish a day earlier. I'll just undo that. Okay, now if your uh, weekend pattern isn't Saturday and Sunday, or your work day pattern isn't Monday to Friday, um, you can use a func function um, which is very similar to the one that we've just looked at. Can you see you've got a workday international function on here, workday.intl. So I'm just going to click on that just to show you some of the options that you have. You'll only find this in later versions of Excel. If you have a really early version, you may not find this in your version. So you can see that actually on this one I have four different arguments. So uh, I have to start with the start date and I have to specify the number of working days. But then look what happens. In the weekend argument I actually get a series of options. So for example if my um, weekend was only on Sunday, so I work Monday through to Saturday, I would double click on this one here. And again, I would then choose my holidays. Close the brackets. And it gives me a slightly different answer on that because I've only got uh, a one day weekend. Okay, so that's the work day function. Let's look at the net work day function. So this scenario requires us to provide both a start date and an end date for our project um, and we could then calculate the number of working days between these two dates. So if I just start typing that function in, I've got network days there and you can see that I've got one, two, three arguments. So uh, I specify my start date, comma, I specify my, my end date and optionally, I don't have to do that, I can specify some holidays. So I'll just close that down 
and it tells me that there are 282 working days between those two dates. Now, just like with the workday function, if your weekends don't fall uh, Saturday and Sunday, maybe you, you work Monday to Saturday, for example, there is a network days international function. It's available in later versions of Excel. So I can choose a start date and an end date. And just like with my workday function, I get a list of uh, weekend patterns here. So I'm going to say again, I'll only uh, uh, have a one day weekend on Sunday. So that'll be 11, comma, and I can select my holidays. Close the brackets and I get 340 working days between those two dates. Just one last thing, um, it may be useful if you, whenever you open this workbook, you want to know the number of working days between the current date and the end date of your project. You could use the today function, which returns the current date, you may know, automatically uh, within Excel. Uh, so if I chose network days there, and instead of writing in or specifying a cell for my uh, start date, I'm actually going to use the today function. So the today function always returns the current date. Whenever you open the workbook, it'll update itself. So use the same arguments there. Close the bracket. Uh, so whenever I open this up, um, it's going to give me an updated value there. Maybe that useful for something like a project where you have to work out uh, remaining cost or remaining days left for an invoice being due, that type of thing. OK, so two functions there, workday function, network day function, really helpful for doing calculations on working days.